Hello, I am Astrid Schmillian and with me today is Stephen Kutsia. We are both lecturers on an introductory course to IFRS and this is an IFRS for Rookies presentation. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with a brief overview of IA16 property, plants and equipment. Before considering IA16, let us briefly reflect on the accounting process. This process commences with an economic event, which is then recorded and reported on. This process is evident in the typical structure of an IFRS. A typical IFRS will include principles and rules to guide preparers as to when to recognize the event and at what amount. Pervasive to the entire process are qualitative characteristics as contained in the framework on which the standard is based. These qualitative characteristics, together with the other concepts contained in the framework, underlie many of the financial reporting standards. Some of the concepts underlying IA16 are highlighted in the remainder of this presentation. IA16 exhibits the typical structure of a financial reporting standard. Given that IA16 was originally issued in 1993, it may be argued that the framework of 1989 played a role in the development of this standard. Property, plant and equipment is an asset as defined in the framework and is usually an integral part to the operating activities of an entity. More often than not, it represents a significant amount on a statement of financial position. An entity should evaluate any costs incurred, whether initially or subsequently, against the recognition criteria. In other words, the probability of the flow of economic benefits and the reliable measurement of the costs should be evaluated. I-16 includes specific rules for some instances where the evaluation of the recognition criteria might be problematic. Once the decision is taken to recognize a cost incurred as property, plant and equipment, initial recognition will be at cost. I-16 provides a choice for subsequent measurement between the cost model and the revaluation model. The cost model is still based on the prudence concept, while revaluation moves towards neutrality. Cost is defined in I-16 and the basic principle is that all costs attributable to bringing the asset to the location and condition for it to operate as intended by management will be capitalized as part of the original cost of the item. Specific rules are however also included in the standard to determine what can be included in the amount initially recognized as property, plant and equipment. Subsequent measurement is an accounting policy choice between cost model and revaluation model. I-16 again contains rules on the measurement of property, plant and equipment items included in both these models. A change in accounting policy from the cost model to the revaluation model is dealt with in I-16. Regardless of which subsequent measurement model is chosen, certain items of property, plant and equipment will be depreciated. Depreciation is based on a component approach and requires various estimates that need to be reviewed annually. A change in any of these estimates will require additional disclosure. Property, plant and equipment should be de-recognized when no future economic benefits are expected from this item, as it then no longer meets the component of the asset definition relating to future economic benefits flowing to the entity, as contained in the framework. IS16 contains numerous rules for presentation and disclosure of property, plants and equipment. The purpose of these rules is to ensure the users receive the information necessary to make economic decisions. 
This objective is in line with the objective of financial reporting as contained in the conceptual framework. Significant detail regarding the changes in property plant and equipment balance from beginning of the reporting period to the end thereof is required. Details should also be disclosed relating to the accounting policy choices and estimates made by management. Although not specifically considered by IA16, one should not forget the cash flow implications of property, plant and equipment. We hope you enjoyed this IFRS for Rookies presentation and look forward to engaging with you on Facebook. Bye.